Hello friends and welcome to yet another module on Tutorials Point. Today under the Youth Empowerment topic, we will be talking about obesity in youth. Let's see what is there in store for us today. Today we'll talk about defining obesity, what exactly is obesity, effect of obesity on brain, body shaming and its consequences, bad snacking habits, nutritional food versus junk food, required lifestyle changes as well as overcoming obesity in the right way or the right manner. So friends, what exactly do we mean by obesity? Today, a lot of youth of our country is obese and it is uh, rather like a disease because you don't know how much you're eating, you don't know how much of effect that food is doing in your body. And uh, people like people who are plum and you know little uh, on the softer side however at the same time being obese is to be considered like a disease in itself so obesity is a disease which has serious health implications and also it affects the quality of your lifestyle excessive body weight leaves you with uh, you know having certain kind of health complications like heart disease as well as it can affect the various organs in your body you are far more likely to contact harmful diseases like diabetes if you are overweight. Well, being classified as obese or even having a slight bit of obesity is not the same as carrying a little bit of extra weight. If you're carrying a little extra weight, that is okay. But obese people are people who actually are carrying a lot of weight which is rather necessary for their body. Individuals who have a body marks uh, index, which is your BMI, of greater than 30 are considered to be obese and they really need to get medical attention uh, as soon as possible. Obesity is not just about a lack of willpower. It is a disease which has to be recognized. You cannot just take it lightly. Obesity is killing a lot of people in our country today, also leading to a lot of health issues as well as psychological issues. Well, let's talk about the effect of obesity on brain because when you are obese, it also to some extent or the other affects part of functioning of your brain. A lot of people also get brain diseases, Alzheimer's, etc. also comes into picture over here because your brain starts decreasing, starts functioning in a slower manner if you are obese. So obesity is linked to brain shrinkage as well as to memory deficits. Obesity may contribute to the development of certain disease as we said that Alzheimer's is again a disease which is caused because of obesity. Well, depression is also um, closely linked to obesity. Uh, it has also been found out that if you eat more, you are likely to be more depressed because of it. And also the other way around, people who are depressed have been researched and found to have binge eating. That means they eat larger portions of what they're actually supposed to be eating. Uh, the study shows that 51% of people who had major depression are people who are obese. So if you are obese, it definitely leads to depression and depression also leads to ob obesity. Now we're going to talk about body shaming and its consequences. Well, body shaming is about talking about the other person's weight, talking about how they look and people who body shame are normal people like you and me, but their effect of their tone and the way they body shame a person by talking about their weight, by talking about the way they look and everything else can cause people uh, body shaming and the consequences are really heavy because body shamers are people who comment on other people and they also have a very narrow standard of beauty in the society. So these people actually think that people who are thin are only people who are beautiful and handsome, but people who are, who are overweight are actually people who, um, do, who lack beauty. Well, beauty is uh, something that lies in the eyes of the beholder and you should not really shame a person or if you know of somebody who body shames a person, I think that person really needs to be counseled or mentored. Victims of body shaming get into the host of psychological as well as physical disorders. Uh, a lot of them also go into depression because of too much of body shaming. Eating dis disorders like anorexia and bulimia are most common because of body shaming. And as mentioned earlier, a lot of people also get into depression and commit suicides because they cannot handle the pressure of uh, people body shaming them. 
Now we're going to talk about certain bad snacking habits. Well, the youth of our country loves to have or you know indulge into junk food. Junk food is easily available, and it's uh, you know something that is uh, that is liked by everyone. However, youth of the country is indulging so much into junk food, which is giving them absolutely zero nutrients, as compared to ju uh, healthy food, which is definitely more nutritious for them. Seeing what others are doing, they also tend to imitate them and that leads to bad snacking habits. Many of the youngsters believe that it's okay to skip uh, the breakfast, which is the most important meal of the day. They are in a hurry to get to college or school because of which they forget to eat breakfast or they skip breakfast, which actually leads to a lot of issues later on in, you know, for the health as well. So many people, young people today tend to uh, gravitate towards high fat and calorie laden snack food which will definitely make you full for a little while but it is giving you zero amount of nutrients. Indulging in colas or other uh, soft drinks is again a very bad snacking habit. Uh, comparing junk food to nutritious food, well junk food which is already so much in calories and it is definitely very very yummy and it's easily available easy to prepare etc than health food which takes a little longer time to prepare this food does not contain any kind of good nutrients which is good for the health and it is made up of fried and unpreserved food which does not really remain natural for a long period of time well, uh, as mentioned before, after eating junk food, you might feel full, but you also start feeling drowsy and it leads to lack of energy because junk food makes you more and more lethargic and careless in your attitude. Consuming a large amount of junk food can also lead to obesity and gastro issues, diabetes, cardiac health problems, etc. Definitely there is a need for a required lifestyle change. Now lifestyle changes depends from people to people. I would really encourage you to start including some amount of exercise into your day to day life like uh, indulging in any kind of jogging, walking, any sports that you enjoy doing, anything which will help you to overcome obesity and have a nice lifestyle change towards it. You can also go for yoga, meditation which will help you to calm yourself. And it is uh, definitely better to switch to healthier food, something that will give you a lot of nutrition as well. Sleep is something which is again very, very important. It is ideal to sleep for at least seven to eight hours in the day. If it's possible, uh, if not, then at least six hours is something that you should have. Lesser than six hours, your brain starts, doesn't function very well if you have lack of sleep. And again, lack of sleep is also related to obesity and weight gain. One needs to work what, you know, whatever works best for them because everyone has their own needs and their own methods of having the required lifestyle. Well, overcome, uh, overcoming obesity in the right manner is very essential. You need to go to a doctor and seek help of the person who will help you to understand why uh, you are obese and what are the kind of uh, things needed to make sure that you get back into shape. You also need to visit a good nutritionist who will give you a diet plan and you need to follow that diet. You can also indulge in some kind of physical activities to accelerate the loss of weight. Well, you should also be realistic about achieving your goals. Do not set a goal of losing weight which is too high and neither too low. Uh, something which is achievable and something which will motivate you to get out of bed and get into a change in lifestyle. Maintain good hydration along with water, get sufficient amount of sleep and also try and get as much support from your family, friends to help you overcome obesity and reduce your weight. Well, that brings us to the end of this particular module on obesity in youth. Well, losing weight is definitely not easy, but it is possible with a lot of willpower and motivation. I am sure you can overcome obesity. Thank you for listening to this particular module and keep watching more videos coming your way.